Um, the, there we go. We got the recording going. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hello again. Uh, those of you that are new today, we just want to welcome you. Uh, we're so grateful that the the beautiful ladies that are here in the portion are inviting friends and family. They're inviting people in their community. Um, and we are just so grateful for that. So thank you for inviting your friends. And thank you for all of you newbies who are here to um, just be part of this amazing uh, community that we have here in the in the portion. So what we're going to do is um, just talk to you about some uh, things about the portion that uh, Simi and I today have um, had a chance to just or the things that have really just begun speaking to our heart this week. I know for me, um, see me, I don't know, we haven't had a chance to talk, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> this portion took me in directions I had no idea I was going to. What about you? It does every year. It is every amazing. <laughs> it's like, okay, I, I, I see it coming. Oh, I love this one. And yeah, then, yeah, you yeah. know, you start reading it and, mm -hmm. and I have my notes from all the different years and, oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the oil and the lamp and the, all this, the garments, the, the mm -hmm. priest garments, and you're mm -hmm. thinking of all this uh, things and, and you think you are going to go the same direction. Like right. He's, and nope. Nope, he throws a curve every time. Every every time. Isn't that so exciting, though? It I love is. that he throws curves at us. It is. Because, you know, if not, it gets boring after a while, right? Well, then we and think we, we know everything. Well, Can I just say we think we know it? Okay, let's not go there. And uh, this, this tour portion, <laughs> truly, this tour portion is all about, you may think you know it, but you really don't know it. Because that's not what he's, he is not looking for know-it-alls. He is not. Uh, he's not about how um, how much of a brainiac you are or how many things you have. And there's nothing wrong with being a brainiac. Trust me. Mm -hmm. I depend upon brainiacs. <laughs> <laughs> well, the beauty to me for that is that, um, you know, every time that I think I have finally got a big picture of it, you know, I <laughs> somehow grasp, you know, what this mm -hmm. is all about. Yeah. Then he said, hmm. Let me show you something new. Yeah. And then hey, you're let's like, turn oh. that, let's turn that little diamond just a little bit different, right? Yes, yes. So and that you then, can see a different mm, facet. Yep. And then it becomes this new, it's like you're entering a new yeah. field. And I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, I didn't know all this was in here, but it's so awesome. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, how about if we start off with today's um, uh, Parsha is Tetzave, mm -hmm. and it means commanded. Um, and, you know, sometimes the English words really kind of put us off, like make us feel like, oh, geez, I don't really want to read about being commanded to do this or commanded to do that. But, you know, that's the best thing about um, uh historical Jewish literature. Okay, so let's, if we look at the Bible, it was written, it's written, you know, in such a way that it is challenging you to dig in, it's challenging you yeah. to find the gems. And like Simi just said, it's, it's challenging you to see the diamond that you are familiar with, and allow the Holy One to just change it a little bit so that you see it in a whole new perspective. Yeah. And to me, that's what this, oh, I'm going to start crying. Oh, I forgot tissues. Um, this is what this Torah portion is all about, because mm -hmm. It's Exodus 27, 20 through 30, verse 10. Um, and um, may I just do a quick little overview, Simi? Are you good with that? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. So, so then also, um, ladies, I would really love for us to dig into Matthew 5, um, because Matthew mm -hmm. 5 is basically the mirror image of, of what we're going to be talking about in the, uh, in this portion. Yeah. So, um, so the first thing is that, uh, we are commanded to gather the oil for the lamp that is always burning. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there is a lamp within this Mishkan, this, this tabernacle that is always burning and it is the requirement 
of those, um, the, the nation of priests, uh, are you finding yourself in there somewhere? Yes. To gather oil, to mm-hmm. gather oil and to make sure that the lamp never goes out. Now, see me, you and I could talk about that for three hours. <laughs> and we just would that, love to. Just yeah. that, just that. And yeah, yeah. Come, come over to our house sometime. We'll do that. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's, there's the gathering of the oil. There's the, there is the, um, making sure that the lamp never goes out. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is then the clothing of how the priest are to be dressed, Mm -hmm. what their appearance is. Um, And each one of the garments is so valuable. And please read this Exodus Mm -hmm. 27, starting at verse 20, go through 30 verse 10. Read this for yourself. I mean, seriously, just allow the words to just pour over you. You don't have to understand everything. Just read it and let it pour over you. So then the clothing, we're told about the clothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sammy, I am just like, this is the New Testament. (laughs) I'm just thinking Mm -hmm. about putting on your armor Mm -hmm. and how every piece of your armor is what is allowing you to have intimate relationship with the Holy one, every piece. And, and it's every piece of that armor is going to make you look different than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Your, the armor that the, uh, Cohen wear or the Levitical priesthood wears, is going to make them look different. Why? Because they're servants of the most high king. Yeah. And they yeah. have to wear clothing that is different than anyone else's. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then we have the seven day ceremony um, that is inaugurating the priests into service. So then we have this inauguration of this, this, um, this cleansing uh, in order for the priest to be able to be uh, ready for service. I mean, okay, that'll preach, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And the time span, seven. Oh, that will exactly. Preach. The mm-hmm. daily offering, mm-hmm. there's a daily offering, there's a daily offering. And we'll talk about that out of Matthew. Um, mm-hmm. And then also Hebrews 6, Hebrews 7, Hebrews 8. I hope that we can t- touch on that today. And then the last part of this Torah portion in the Torah itself in Exodus is the instructions for the golden incense altar. Mm-hmm. So now that we have the basics <laughs> mm-hmm. out of the way, I, you know, see me, I took a page out of your book and I began drawing <laughs> <laughs> and I could not stop. I, I, I mean, Simi, you are a genius when it comes to drawing out scriptures. And so that's what I began doing. And, uh, and I began seeing the the layout of the Mishkan, uh, not just in the Old Testament, but how Yeshua walked it out. Mm -hmm. And so I really, I'm really passionate about wanting to talk about that. But before Mm -hmm. I do, sis, what what were the things in Exodus, in our tour portion of Exodus, what were the things that really grabbed you this week? Well, um, we're getting ready for the creation gospel uh, retreat this Ooh. week, th- this mm-hmm. weekend, mm-hmm. and we're celebrating Purim. So of course, yes. my, my mind is in Purim. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's there is so much there, the connections between this Torah portion and that. Tell uh, me. But one of the things that I think um, that hit me the most is how each part of that, um, and I love that you said uh, it's the New Testament. And <laughs> I have friends that are uh-huh. Jews and uh-huh. never would even consider reading the New Testament. But oh. when they had, yeah. you know, when they did, they said, This is so Wait, Old Testament. This, this is so this Old is Testament. Torah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 she's, I remember one of them said to me, He's like, You know, I was expecting to find a Christian book that talk all about now. And had nothing to do with them. And I'm reading this and I, they can see it. See, we see that armor that you're talking yeah, about yeah. as the Romans armor, you know, uh-huh, that uh-huh. The, the 
the breastplate and the helmet yeah. is, you know, uh, uh, but they don't. No, they, they're they seeing they it as that. a Levitical priesthood oh, that, yeah. are, that yeah. are hearing from God because of the breastplate. Yeah. The breastplate is giving yeah. them the voice of Adonai. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really <laughs> interesting how our perspective, we, we, and, and we do the same thing. So yeah. we go to the Tanakh for the first time, we go to Torah and we're reading mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, this is Ephesians. Oh my this goodness. This is Ephesians. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. This is what Jesus was talking about. <laughs> I love it. I just love I it. I, I'm following this lady um, mm-hmm. that she's doing the the Torah, the reading of the whole Bible from cover okay. to cover uh-huh. in a year. And okay. I've never done that from a messianic perspective. So I'm really okay. enjoying it. But Wonderful. I love that she says, you know what? You go to my Bible and you won't find that little page that says Old Testament. And then the other one that says New Testament. That's the first thing I tear off my Bible when <laughs> I buy one. That thing comes out. That was added. It's not supposed to be there. Yeah, it's so one book. Yes, it's one yeah, book. It's one I love book. It. How it it's all so connects. beautiful. And you know, the um, in the... Jewish, the Jewish chronology of how they have the Tanakh. Tanakh, for those of you that may not know, is the is the three sections: uh, the 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 Torah, the first five books of Moses, the Nevaim, which is the prophets, and the Ketuvim, which is the writings. Okay, so um, in in that, the last book of the Jewish. Um, chronology of the Bible, the way that it's the Tanakh as it's put together, the very last thing is not Malachi. Mm-hmm. The the very last thing is 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 Chronicles. And it's and it leaves us with a blessing that sends us into mm-hmm. finding Yeshua, our ha our Hagadol, our Kohen Hagadol, our high priest. Right. It sends us right into that. Yeah. I love that. Uh, yeah. We're used to Malachi with the, you know, the big, you know, hit you over the head, slam you, yeah. you, you know, have robbed me, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you that's bring your tithings to yeah, the yeah, storehouse. And, and that is not how mm-hmm. the, um, we, we don't, mm-hmm. you know, that's not how the, um, the Jewish Bible is put together. So I really mm-hmm. love that, how they, they yeah. leave it with that beautiful blessing that mm-hmm. truly does usher us into knowing Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus as our, as our Messiah, as our savior, as our high priest. Yes. Um, this whole Torah portion I am, I am telling you, I I always say this and I know you guys think I'm ridiculous, but I feel like I've never read it before. I I really feel like I never read it before. I started seeing this, um, see me from the perspective of how Yeshua walked it out. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm asking you all to please Mm -hmm. read this. If you are watching this on a replay, would you do me the biggest favor ever pause right now? and read uh, your, your portion in Exodus, Mm -hmm. and then come back on. And, you know, let's, let's talk a little bit about how we see this walked out in the life of Yeshua. Would that be okay? Um, See me, would you come with, would you come with me to, I would love to, yeah, come with me to, let's go to Matthew five. Okay. Okay. So Matthew five, you all know it. It's Mm -hmm. the, it's the Sermon on the Mount. Um, and the thing that I love about Matthew (laughs) is that he, he expresses everything in such a way that, um, he allows us to see that Yeshua is turning the world upside down and he is challenging all of the Torah teachers and he's, and he's saying to them, you think that you know what this means in the Torah because you've studied the Torah and you know the Torah, you've memorized the Torah. But what I'm saying to you is this is what this is what it means to walk it out. This is how it is. It is done. And um, and I just I love that about about this because it's saying, you know, blessed are the poor in spirit. Well, hold on now. Now, let me take you a little bit behind that. Go ahead. Tell me. So what about, how did they come out of Egypt, the nation Mm -hmm. of Israel? Mm -hmm. 
they had to cross the water. Though so I had to cross the water, yes. Right. How did mm-hmm. he start his ministry? Yeshua. Yeah. Coming out of the water. In the mikvah. Yeah. With John the Baptist, right? Mm-hmm. With the baptizer yes. in the He's Jordan. Coming right out. Mm-hmm. And then what happens? Who takes him and where right after that for 40 days and 40 nights? Into the desert so that he hears the ah. voice of Abba. Yes. And he's tempted, just like yes. we are. Mm-hmm. Yes. And 40 days and 40 nights, remembering the whole 40 years that it took them in the desert. So yes. he repeats everything again. A hundred percent. I love okay. that, Simi. I love it. No, no, no. You keep going. Share, no, no, share, no. It's share just, that with us. It's just that, you know, and then he starts his ministry. So then he goes, yeah. this is what it's all about. This is what it's let, all about. Let me walk you through it. So mm-hmm. you continue. Yeah, you may have heard, um, you may have heard it this way, but let me explain it to you the way that I meant it to be when I wrote it. <laughs> right. Let me walk it out for you so that you can see what it looks like in human flesh. <laughs> right. And that's right. what, and that's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so for me, the, the very, very, very first thing, let's see. Um, let's see. This is the part that I love. Okay, so I'll set the scene and then you and I, let's discuss this because, you know, this is the best part of all of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Matthew 5, verse 1. It says, seeing the crowds, mm-hmm. Yeshua walked up the hill and after he sat down, his mm-hmm. Talmudim came to him and he began to speak. Mm-hmm. And this is what he taught. Okay, first off, we're in Exodus. We are studying the Mishkan. We're studying the, it's a, the Mishkan has three parts to it. It's got the outer court where everybody's invited, mm-hmm. the crowds, right? Yep. yep. Then it has the inner part where only the servant priests are, are allowed in. It's a little bit more restricted, but there's still a lot of people that can come into that. Okay. Enter the Talmudin. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. And then we have the center. The, the the third part of the temple, and that is the Holy of Holies, mm-hmm. where in Exodus, only Moshe and Aaron can go in there, mm-hmm. okay, during this time frame when this, when, when this is being um, uh, spoken to us, mm-hmm. when it's being written out, Moshe mm-hmm. and Aaron are the only two that are going in there, uh, Aaron being the high priest, and Moshe is the one where the father said, um, I'm going to speak to you mm-hmm. um, from between the cherubim you know, the cherubim. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he was, because of that, we know that he was allowed to be into in that space mm-hmm. um, along with Aaron. So in the kingdom, looking at a kingdom of h- how a kingdom is, is raised, the mountain, mm-hmm. like Mount Sinai, the, mount, the mountain on the outside of Sinai, all the people were able to gather. All the people could come and gather at Mount Sinai. And then only the priests who were um, who went through their the cleansing, the only elders. them, mm-hmm. the elders, mm-hmm. were mm-hmm. able to go up to the center part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But only the high priest or... Uh, you know, that I, I'm just mm, trying to use that uh, imagery. If you can see that mm-hmm, only mm-hmm. he went up to the very top right. and why, because the King, his presence was there. His presence was over Mount Sinai. His presence right. was over the Mishkan in a cloud. He covered the Mishkan during the day mm-hmm. and fire covered the Mishkan at night. Right. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. here we see Yeshua acting as king yeah he goes up the mountain he sits down that is kingdom talk that's Mm -hmm. kingdom talk for Mm -hmm. a king taking his throne he sits down yep he gathers his inner circle to to him and he begins teaching them and then their job is to go and teach the everybody else Mm mm-hmm so he is imparting this to him. This is where we're at in the book of Matthew. This is what Matthew is explaining to us. Right. And so here we go with all of these backwards things. You know, um, I love it when it says, 
um, blessed are those that are persecuted because of righteousness for the Mm -hmm. kingdom of heaven is theirs. All of the things are backwards. So it was challenging the religious leaders because they're thinking, but if we're right, we shouldn't be persecuted for following Torah. Hmm. And he's, and he's saying, yes, but look at it from this perspective. So he's not allowing any of us to get too big for our britches and think that we know everything because even the elect had to be re had to have the perspective changed for them if they would choose to hear it and receive it. Mm -hmm. And he's talking about, um, let's see, um, blessed are those who make peace. Now, hold on a minute, because when Yeshua came, everybody thought that he was going to conquer, physically Mm -hmm. conquer as a king, right? The land with swords. Yeah. And he didn't do that. And so it, it, it was confusing to their minds. And he's saying, everything is, everything's backwards, what they thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? See me. He just, <laughs> yeah. He's just saying, eh, I know my ways are not your ways. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you think you know all this, but let me just tell you that uh, when you are hungry and thirsty for righteousness, you'll be filled. Uh, well, hold on a minute now. If you show mercy, I'll show you mercy. I mean, these things were confusing because they were. Um, these are the things that come from the spirit, from the heartbeat of God. Mm -hmm. So as Yeshua is sitting up there on the mountain and he's saying all of these things and everybody's minds are probably being scrambled and they're thinking, what, wait a minute, what, what? Uh, He begins speaking to them. That is, and he's using his words. Let's go back to the very first verse. It says. Okay. So let me interject there a minute. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So going back to coming out of Egypt, mm-hmm. he's changing in in the desert their mindset. He has yes. to take Egypt out of them. He yes. took them out of Egypt, but now mm-hmm. Egypt is in them. So they see everything through that perspective. And Yeshua is doing the same thing. They've exactly. been under Roman um, occupancy and oppression yes. for so mm-hmm. long that mm-hmm. they're seeing you're coming with the white horse and you're going to right. you know, kill all those people, get yeah. them out. So mm-hmm. they, he has to do again. So yeah. it repeats again. I have to get Roman out of your Rome out of your head. Right. Mm-hmm. And let's fast forward to where we are right now, see me. Mm-hmm. We have to stop looking at everything. Yes. From our, you know, most of us are in the Western world that are uh, that we have a lot of people that are not in uh, in the Americas. Um but those of us, the majority, uh, are in the Americas. We, we're seeing everything from a Western, very, very Western mindset. Yes. And 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 he is is telling us, you have to allow me to change your perspective yeah. if you really want to get what I'm saying. And yeah. that's how the the authors of the Torah. Mm-hmm. excellent, wise wisdom inspired mm-hmm. by the Holy One, just like, yeah. just like uh, Olihab and, and um, Betsiel, uh, inspired to do what could not be done. Yeah, that's what's happening in the Torah. They are writing mm-hmm. these things. And on the surface, it would be something that somebody would look at and then just pass by. Oh, that's meaningless. That's just genealogy. No big deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, but there's treasures hidden within each and every one of those areas. There's treasures yeah. hidden and that's what he's doing. And that's what he's challenging us to do. Um, yes. Elohim's perspective. We're being transformed by the renewing of our minds. Right. Sarita. Yeah. And, and that's, and that's what he's doing Simi. And I'm, yeah. and I'm looking at the, um, the sermon on the Mount with such different eyes today. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hope that I never read the word. And go, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I know, I know, I know. I hope I never do that. Oh, I know. Because today I read it and I'm like, oh, Father, I am not mm-hmm. worthy to even be on. I mean, somebody else needs to come and teach this because. <laughs> well, we're, we're just sharing what we've read. We're, we're not really sharing. teaching. Yeah. We're just sharing. We're not and, te- We're sharing. <laughs> talking about a link that was so sweet to me, you mm-hmm. know, because we always hear, oh, 
the New Testament is where grace is all about and grace is there and discipline mm -hmm. and yeah, sure. And, um, you know, your head, your head will roll is in the uh -huh. old. Uh -huh. And um, there were five columns to get into the holy place. Oh, I love that. Okay. The number five. Grace. Yes. So grace has always, in order to enter and be a priest, because only the priest could, th there were a lot of priests, though. There were a lot of the, priests. The right. Levitical, um, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, Levi's try mm -hmm. was big. So that all of them could come in into that one when their appointed time was. Mm -hmm. uh, but you had to go through grace. You had to go through those five I columns. They didn't have to have columns there. You know, our mm -hmm. father doesn't put things for nothing. He is giving us hints all along. And yeah. you have to go through that. And what are columns? Columns are not, uh, you know, he could have put curtains, you know, five yeah. curtains that you go through that are easy or flimsy and you can move mm -hmm. them however you want. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. He put columns. He's like, you know, yes, my grace is there for you. You can come in through that. But they have a purpose. They hold up something. They yes. are a structure. Yes. This, you know, it's not just this flimsy, what is a, a sloppy grace or something you know, <laughs> that people you say. I don't know what's the word. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, no, no, no. It's, you know. Sloppy a copy. There you go. <laughs> something like that. Just know everybody by my accent i'm not american so just bear <laughs> with me <laughs> i i just kill all your sayings i'm so sorry <laughs> uh, my husband laughs all the time it's like, Does he? <laughs> you meant to say this oh yeah 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 that <laughs> that's what i meant to say exactly uh but you know it's it's good to know grace is and it's not hard in a way that is rigid and great right. no, it is it holds us. It gives us support. It, it, it's, it's not the wind is not going to come and take us away from one, you know, a wind of doctrine to another. His mm -hmm. grace is, is steady, is yes. firm, and that's just foundation. Beautiful. It's foundations. It's the mm -hmm. thing that holds it up. Mm -hmm. It's a support. It's like yeah. the letter, the letter Samech is a, it's a circle. Mm -hmm. And that circle is a cycle and it is a cycle and it's a support system. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a, a never ending support system. Mm -hmm. And the columns are like that. They are the support and five being the number of grace. I mean, uh, yeah, it's it also five it letter. Yeah. Hey, what is it? it is, it, it is the revelation mm -hmm. and, um, how beautiful is that? It's that little open window, you know, is the air in our, lungs. it is the air in our lungs. Mm. And speaking of that, um, in our Exodus, in our tour portion in Exodus today, it talks about the priest putting the, um, the Urim and Thurim on his chest yeah. and, but it says, uh, uh, over his heart. That the, 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 um, uh, Kohen Hagadol, the high priest yeah. will carry that the names and the, um, symbolism of the children of Israel, the 12 tribes mm -hmm. over his heart. Now think about mm -hmm. that. Yeshua is our high priest, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he carries us on his heart. Mm -hmm. So everything that he instructs us to do, everything um, that is the revelation of the Father in heaven to us is all coming through grace. It's all coming through the love of his heart. It's not coming through his right hand or his left hand of judgment. It is coming through his heart. Right. That's where and he, he was, keeps us close. And he was fastened. To his it was heart. fastened. Yes. So it's like, it, you're not taking this kids away from me. They That's are right. mine. They're and mine. You, mm -hmm. And and he tells us that in several different places that, yep. that no one can snatch us out of the palm of his hand. Mm -hmm. No one and nothing. Yep. Not hardship. Nothing. No death, no demons, no angels, no famine, 
nothing right. in the present, nothing in the future, nothing right. can separate us from the love of God that, that heart. is in Messiah. Exactly. And Messiah is the word. Yeah, he is. He is, he is the living word. He's yeah. the word alive. Yep. Yep. And and that's why he says in, in Matthew, it just cracks me up. I love Matthew, by the way. Uh, in verse 21, 521, he says, you have heard our fathers were told do not murder. And that anyone who commits murder will be subject to judgment. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, that anyone who nurses anger against yeah. his brother will be subject to judgment. That whoever calls his brother, you good for nothing, he will be brought before the Sanhedrin. And that whoever says, you're a fool, incurs the penalty of burning in Gehenna. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, mm-hmm. so what he's saying is, this is what you've heard. And this is what you're, you, you are seeing as your um, due diligence, what you have to do. Mm -hmm. But let me show you a more excellent way. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm walking out. He walked it out. See me, he walked it out. Mm -hmm. He could have easily made judgments on the people that were, you know, um, you know, quick, quick judgments, but he refused to because it wasn't about, it's not about sin. It's not, it's about your, you walking it out with him and you walking it out with each other. Yes. And that takes me back to Genesis because yes. it is, it was about obeying the word and he could have left it there, yeah. but remember he gave Adam and Eve a command to rule over all the beast of the field, right? Mm-hmm. So go with me here. Okay. So we're still in the effort, right? And he, yeah. it, it is fastened on his heart so it can be tilted. It just always stays right firm, straight up, right? Right. Just like Torah. Mm-hmm. An archer, straight to the heart of yes. the target, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Now it is held on the shoulders with six stones here and six stones here. Mm-hmm. What happened on the sixth day of creation? That's Vav. That's when man was created. And, and beast. Beast. Beast so, first, then man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so we have six and six, right? So mm-hmm. man and beast. Mm-hmm. So what he's saying is, I gave you authority over the beast, but you listen to the beast and disobey me. Mm. The head. Mm-hmm. So we listen to our body. Ooh, that looks good. It looks good to taste. Mm, I'm yum. taking it. Yeah. Right. So we listen I think to I need our this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we listen to our beast and we don't rule over it, but it rules over us. When the yeah. head is supposed to rule the body, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So when you go there and you think, okay, so he put it on the shoulders to remind them they know what six is, you yes. know. And yes. it's like, okay, this is a command. The shoulders is on whose authority? Mm. Oh, that's good. Uh-huh. It's on his wow. shoulder. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Yeah. So uh, then he's saying, listen, I had to come like six, six to show you this mm-hmm. because when I spoke it, you wouldn't listen. Mm-hmm. And you listened to the, to the beast. But mm-hmm. now I am flesh and Mm-hmm. spirit yeah see me i have to uh pause go ahead please continue sharing mm-hmm. i'll be right back okay okay so the so ladies think about this um that is that is our and, and in messiah we have that authority right because we are in him so we have that authority to see which one is going to be the one ruling this body is it going to be the beast or is it going to be the spirit and when we do that, we are, um, we are, at, we are actually walking out the command to rule over the beast. We also have um, God speaks directly to Cain and says, "Sin is crouching at the door outside 
the you. It's he's not inside of you. He's outside of you, and he is he, his desire is to have you, but you must master it. So again, he had given the command. Then they listened to the the snake, to the serpent. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. went out. We see the fruit of it in Cain and Abel. And again, he comes and says, listen, you need to rule over it and don't let it rule over you. Yes. So when the, when the priests are, are holding that in their, in their shoulders and in that, in the heart is the, 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 the stones, the urn and the tomb and to determine what is the will of God. And uh, so so do we, you know, yes. we, we have that authority that has been given to us and, um, and we are walking as ambassadors of the King. So what do ambassadors do? We tell everybody about our King, our wonderful kingdom and right. all the rules to live in our kingdom. And we are little, I don't know, billboards walking yes. around bearing the image ambassadors. of ambassadors. Yes. yes. Telling every the good news of what's going to happen, yes. what the king's going to do, who this yes. new one on the throne is, mm -hmm. how he is going to benefit you yes. so that you will follow him. That is the gospel. And it was proclaimed over yeah. everyone. The gospel is not a new term. It wasn't a term that the disciples came up with. No. It was how every kingdom was entered into. The gospel was proclaimed of who the king was and what he was going to do and how he was going to bless you and how he was going to benefit you and why you need to serve him. And then his ambassadors ran around proclaiming the truth of his gospel. Yes. That was what it was. The good news. Hey, mm -hmm. this is great. And so go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Little side note. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so if you think about it, um, Holisa says, and I quote her, it, I love mm -hmm. this, that uh, she, in one of her teachings, she said, salvation won't cost you anything because be part of his kingdom. You can come in, you know, like you mm -hmm. said, it was offered mm -hmm. to everyone. Yeah. You want to be here? Come in. Yep. Yep. But to grow in holiness will cost you everything. Yes everything because then it's like okay i'm gonna use myself so i'm venezuelan right mm -hmm. so i came into the united states uh actually with an investor's visa so i came to give jobs to americans i okay. brought my company and i if as long as i had american employees i had a, a good standing visa right so then um you know the company closed and then i decided to stay now, I don't have my company anymore, so I need to change. I, I came kind of like uh, an investor into, yeah. it is called an investor's visa. So I came as an investor. Uh, now I want to become a citizen, right? Mm -hmm. So then at this point, I introduced all the paperwork and all the stuff, and I had to take a <laughs> test <laughs> and learn all the commandments and all the laws, which by the right. way, are over 4,000 and people just, freak out because the 613 are too much to bear. Um, and, you know, I had to learn all that yeah. and learn how to live in this country mm -hmm. with its rules and regulations mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. And it's the same thing. So uh, now I can say, you know, I'm sorry, I'm Venezuelan. I live like a Venezuelan and I'm not going to obey. Well, I'll get ticket after ticket. And if I break right. a big one, then I'll be in jail. Right? right. So it's one of those things that it's going to cost me everything to be an American citizen mm -hmm. because yeah. that I, I can't come the way I was and try to mm -hmm. pretend I'm going to be okay. It's right. not going to work. Right. So you have to like, change your garments. Change right. your garments, right? And be set apart. That holiness, yes. that's also what it means. I'm going to be set apart. Yes. I'm no longer, I literally went through a, um, a, a sworn in, in a, um, mm -hmm. ceremony where I'm saying no longer in case right. of a war, right. <laughs> it will be in that other, uh, our, uh, you know, stand on that army. Mm -hmm. I'm standing on this one. So there is a wow. lot. And, and those things we don't think about, but mm -hmm. it is, you know, it it takes a lot to to say, okay, I want to be here. I want to ab abide by right. the rules of my right. uh, father. Mm -hmm. and And this is what it takes. 
and uh, right. and sometimes you know we just want to come and get the all the benefits and get free this free that and free the other <laughs> and then i do nothing you know right, right. that's not life abundant that's no, not what's not to give us that's not being the salt of the earth exactly ah, in the ah, did you see that did you see yeah. that little transition <laughs> that's not being the light of the world huh? yes so what yes. happened in the mishkan at this time in our Torah portion, in the Mishkan, the light was shining and it could never go out, right? So what does Yeshua tell us? You are the light of the world. This is what he's telling. This is the good news. Mm -hmm. He is in the, he is the, the image of the Mishkan. And then he's saying, you are the salt of the earth. Don't lose your savor. Without yeah. salt, there's no covenant. So mm -hmm. go ahead. How did that light come about? Did they from just the pressing, lit a match? No, no. From the pressing of in the gathering of the olives and the pressing of the olives and the That's extraction. The oil. Yeah, for the light. But, but oh, the, right. the, the the flame the was flame. from heaven. The flame was from heaven. Right. It wasn't so, a struck match. Exactly. So a ask uh, Aaron's boys. <laughs> It was not a struck. It wasn't a, it wasn't a match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Crispy creators like uh, Rabbi Foreman calls them. Oh my gosh. Okay. So fire. <laughs> yeah. Well, but think about this. Yeah. So the light comes from heaven mm -hmm. is God given. Yes. Big light. You know, right. when he says we're the light of the world, it's not like, here I am. I'm going to light myself up. And he's saying, yeah, he or. Yeah, you are. Might it be. Yeah, mm. it is from him, comes from him. Now we keep it lit, the virgins and the oil, right? Mm -hmm. We keep mm -hmm. it lit. And were it only the priests who brought those olives? No. Mm -mm. Who, yeah. Who brought the olives? Everyone. 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 I have to work for my oil. I can't work for yours. I can work for mine. Exactly. But which I is the 10, which is the 10 virgins, the five that are wise and the five that are not. Mm -hmm. That's the same. So ladies, do you see how mm -hmm. the New Testament is Yeshua walking out the Torah and the prophets are supporting it? The, the prophets are proclaiming it. The writings are proclaiming it. And Yeshua is walking it out. And when he mm -hmm. said, you are the light of the world. And when he said, you are the salt of the earth, don't lose your savor. Mm -hmm. He is, he is telling us to be his Talmudin, to be his shadow. That's what a disciple is as a shadow it's a shadow mm -hmm. a zeal mm -hmm. it's a it's the shadow of him that's mm -hmm. what a rabbi is you follow the rabbi you follow in the shadow of the rabbi right. you do everything that he does um why because he's god no because he's following mm -hmm. god mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. you follow him because he's following. and that's why yeshua yeah. said come follow me yeah because i'm following him because right first they were one but um i digress but but really, a really amazing point, Simi. Everything goes back to Genesis. Yeah. Everything goes back to creation. Mm -hmm. Everything goes back to the Exodus, which goes back to creation. Mm -hmm. Everything goes back to the the um, Mount Sinai experience with mm -hmm. the giving of the word and the and the vocalization of the word mm -hmm. and the giving of the word and the writing of the word by the finger of God, which goes back to the Exodus, which goes back to the beginning, the, the very begin. beginning, yep. all over again. And then yeah. now here we are, then they build the Mishkan and the Mishkan is, is just a reflection of exactly what they did on Sinai. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, it's amazing. It's like hand in glove. Mm -hmm. The, the even three the compartments. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Even mm -hmm. the presence, the cloud and the fire. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. really? Everything. But look, but Yeshua was all of that embodied mm -hmm. walking it out yeah. and 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 when he said you're the salt of and the light that is Matthew 5:13 okay and then he goes on to say that at the at the very end of this you know of course don't murder don't commit adultery and he's saying these things because what he's what he is asking oops i just lost my bible 
I know. I did too. Nah, oh well. Um, he's she is. saying these things uh, in order for us to see you've thought of it this way, but now I want you to look at it from this way. So mm-hmm. don't beat yourself up. Do not be condemned. Do not think that you just don't know anything. Stop it. You're created in the image of God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know a lot more than you think you do. Yes. Just allow him to change your perspective a little bit. And all of a sudden, the word of God will come alive within you. And you'll be saying, oh, my gosh, Yeshua, he was walking up the mountain. He sat down. That's him and being enthroned. He Mm -hmm. gathered his Talmudim. That's the Levitical priesthood coming before him to serve him. And then the others were gathered around lower. It's it's all He's just showing it to us in a different light. Mm -hmm. He just wants us to know him. He just, he wants us to know that he is with us. Mm -hmm. And, and, and one of, oh my gosh, I have like 1500 pages of notes. And it's the same order. You know, there's a lot of the ladies here that are following the Musar class and it is order. It's, you know, the same order from the beginning, it comes back and, you know, going back to a nation and, (laughs) uh, yep. (laughs) And going into, um, that, um, that, um, priesthood Mm -hmm. going through those five mm-hmm. columns of grace were coming in mm-hmm. and then there are rules to follow and when we do yeah. it's like we said okay the light comes from heaven right right god gives the right. light mm-hmm. uh then we have um we put the oil we bring the mm-hmm. amni is crushed and all that and we put the oil but what happens if i don't bring any more oil i don't bring any more um mm-hmm. olives what happens mm-hmm. if i let those wigs um, just try up. Yep. And, and be, be blocked for, with, with some dirt and soot or whatever. And, mm-hmm. and then there is no more light. So then that is my job, you know, keeping that light going. It's mm-hmm. my, I, there are rules in the kingdom that I need to follow. Absolutely. hundred percent. This is not sloppy agape. <laughs> No, <laughs> this is no. not. And, and, and the rules like, okay, one of the things that I really wanted to get into, which is in um, Matthew, I, oh, man, I think it's 15. And it and it's talking about um, uh, maybe it's in five, I'm not sure. But anyway, it, it, Yeshua is saying, I didn't come to uh, abolish the law. Mm. And, and that word abolish, you have to look at it from the perspective of he uh, abolish in, in that time when this was written to the people that were hearing this and the Mm -hmm. words, what that meant to them was uh, abolishing the law meant that you were misinterpreting the law, Mm -hmm. you were misapplying the law, Mm -hmm. or you were changing the law. That's what abolish meant. And he says, but I came to fulfill the law. Now, to the people who heard this, mm-hmm. what that said to them, this is not what it says to us in, mm-hmm. in the 21st century. But what it said to them was he came to fulfill the law, which means he came to interpret it correctly. Yes. He came to apply it correctly. And right. he came to make sure that it was kept Mm-hmm. It was a guarding of the word, which is what we back in the garden were told that we were to be guardians. We were yes. to guard what we God placed guard. within us. Yes. He breathed his, his life into us. We became living creatures, no longer mm-hmm. beasts, no longer equal with the animals, but we had something different. He breathed his breath of life into us and we became living souls. And when we were became living souls, we were told that we were to guard and yes. keep. And that's throughout the entire Bible. We are seeing examples of what happens when we don't guard and we don't keep the word and what happens when we do guard and we do keep the word. It's not, I hope that everybody is getting the idea that it's not about sin. We really need to stop thinking that everything is about sin and I'm getting saved from sin. No, what you're getting saved from 
is is teaching you how to walk in holiness. You're getting you're getting saved from unholiness into holiness. Right. Is changing is just that, beha- is a behavior. It's a paradigm. It you know, is. my cows used to go this way. <laughs> now they need to go this way. Straight line. Renewing your mind is yes. renewing your thoughts. It's creating yes. new patterns of thinking. And yes. I used to think like the world, the Greek yeah. mindset or right. them, the Egyptian way. Mm-hmm. And yep. we need to change that. We need to think like kingdom minded. Yes. We need to feel, think like him and everything yeah. falls. You know, it's, it's uh, sometimes we, we make all the principles in the Bible be to be a little bit uh, too <laughs> out there that you know yeah. complicated you can't do it you it, can't right do it. and you let me tell you it. if i put water all day long in my ear my ear was supposed <laughs> to it was created to receive air and that air produces waves that move the little bones and sends it to the brain and the brain makes a sense of what it's hearing if i put water in there they hear like the uh charlie brown a cartoon, yeah. right? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can hear right. We get right. ear infections. Yes. We have a problem. So yes. it's the same thing. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, I made this computer is an amazing. Actually, our computers come from this. They yes. were made yes. to mimic. They mimic this the brain. Uh-huh. One, right? Yeah. They we can't get there quite the eyes, we, right, the everything. ears, yeah. the the yes. The, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, all of it. So you, what what he's that. saying is this is how I created you and created mm-hmm. the world. You're talking about perspective. Can you, use, you know, hone in <laughs> and look at me, look at me. I, I, I was training yes. for autism to do um, a oh, specific wonderful. training mm-hmm. and it was all about, look at me, look at me is mm-hmm. getting that connection. Right. Yes. And I remember studying it and I was asking the father, uh, you know, what is this? And he goes, <laughs> You are all autistic. <laughs> and I'm like, look at me. Look at me. Uh, yes. <laughs> you don't look at me. I'm constantly, <laughs> look at me. Look at me. And you're mm-hmm. all over the place. Yeah. And yeah. then isn't it amazing, though, when you actually do something that you know he's pleased with you? And yes. you can almost feel that little tap yes. in the shoulder. Good luck. Yes. Good looking. Oh, and yes. And that's all he's after. He's a good father. He's not here good to father. see. Okay, let me see when Brenda messes up. Okay. <laughs> Smack her, yeah, smack, smack her, her and yeah. send no. her into the right. great beyond. No, he's not our father. Mm-hmm. Our father mm-hmm. is just like yeah. any of us, even better. Yeah. We want our kids to succeed. We want Absolutely. them to sleep. We want them to walk. We we yes. teach them how to eat like this and not <laughs> to be contributing yes. adults in the community yes. that yes. they live in to to make mm-hmm. a difference, to be good mm-hmm. people who yes. are beneficial to those around them. And that's what the father wants for us. Yes. You know, it's beautiful. He wanted us, um, Yeshua in, in this sermon on the Mount, he said that we're the light of the world. Mm -hmm. We're the salt of the earth Mm -hmm. and that we are the temple of the Holy one. You know, we are, he is the temple. Yeshua is the Mishkan, (laughs) but he's saying now you are that now you are so make sure that you're guarding we are in messiah we are in him yeah oh 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 there's so many scriptures i was i was thinking um so for homework guys if you want to do this i want you all to read matthew 5 after you read your torah portion read matthew 5 and then read hebrews 13 10 through 16, and then also Hebrews 6, 7, and 8. It will make much more sense to you after you've read uh, Exodus, and then you've had this discussion with us, uh, being able to see it from the perspective of Messiah, because it talks really in depth about what the Haggadol, what his, what his, um, uh, what his responsibility was. And Uh, the regular priesthood, they had to sacrifice for their own sins first Mm -hmm. and then sacrifice for those who were coming to the altar. Mm -hmm. But Messiah Yeshua, once and for all, he sacrificed his entire life. So he never has to sacrifice his life again. 
Mm-hmm. He is, he is now that blood has now covered the altar mm-hmm. every time we come to him yes. every time we still have to come to him mm-hmm. because we're still growing. We're still learning. Yeah. Because it takes two things to overcome, right? Yes. So we, we messed it up. We messed it up in Adam and Eve mm-hmm. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then we have to, the, like Titus two says, so we teach younger women to love their husbands, exactly. their children, so that the word of God will not be dishonored. Mm-hmm. So this whole overcoming is to honor again, the word. That's what yeah. he, the word became flesh to be followed and respected, yes. right? So yes. that it will be honored again, the way it should have been. But he says that we overcome by mm-hmm. the blood of blood. the lamb and, and the, the- word of our testimony so the blood of the lamb has already been laid so that we don't have we don't have to do that again that's been done His but the word of our shed. testimony is individual every every mm-hmm. single one of us has yes. to walk mm-hmm. that out and that is the guarding and the keeping and and yes. uh, that's the shamaring mm-hmm. that is that is the 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 um standing up and saying this is so valuable i will guard it with everything in me Yes. And that's what we do. That's how we treat our children. We guard them with everything in us, Mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And that's how we are to, to treat this, to treat his words and not just the paper book. You understand not Mm -hmm. just the paper, um, but his words that were spoken forth from the beginning his yeah. yeah he or his breath inside of us mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. of the that's what he wants us to do and he's telling us be don't just don't just approach the temple be the temple right be the because temple. in Ephesians is he says after all that stand having done all having, having done, done all that's stand. it stand that's right yes and so that's what how, do. how does a bill for you, how can you see a billboard if it's on yeah. the ground? You no, can't. it has to stand. It has to stand. <laughs> so in order to, stand to upright. Be, yes, in order to be his ambassadors, in order to be his image bearers, we need yes. to stand. But we're standing on his blood. Yes. We're standing on his sacrifice. Yeah. We're standing on everything he represents. Yes. It's not my merit. It's not my thing. I'm standing on him. I love that he showed up as a a dove on the top of his head before he did any miracle, before he started any ministry, he Mm -hmm. came and said, this is my son and I'm well pleased. And if you're talking about homework, I'll give you one. Go to Ephesians and count how many times it says in Messiah, in Christ. 40 times, those 40 times that they heard the wrong um, uh, report and Mm -hmm. they believed the wrong report Mm -hmm. and not the word of God, they stayed 40 years. So think about this. Think about not man, but thoughts, because, you know, the Bible says we are like trees yes. and, tre- and our All brain, trees. our dendrites <laughs> are trees in our brain. Our, those yeah, are our are. thoughts <laughs> that have right. to be renewed, right? We're yep. talking about changing our mindset. So mm-hmm. think about 40 bad reports that need to die in the desert. All the patterns, all the lies that we have believed, they need to die in the desert. Yes. But you know what? Amen. While they were in the desert, while all of them died, the pillar mm-hmm. of cloud and the pillar of fire was with them yes. every single day. Manna, so every day. Know that every day. All, yes, we it have had nothing to do with thoughts. their uh, their uh, goodness or how no. much they did that was right or what they did that was wrong. Every day they got manna. Every day they had a cloud. Every day they had fire. Their every day. clothes Water. didn't wear out. That's right. They didn't yeah. take showers like us every day. Yeah. In two they, minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And shoes. You yes. know, that is giving us everything we need to live he this really, life abundantly. Really Believe. For, oh, yes. I'm sorry. Go our ahead. father is good. Just, Amen. I just want to say that. 
Okay. Thank you so much. I love you so much. You're awesome. You. So ladies, any of you that are experiencing feeling insecure, feeling like you're not, you're, you're not qualified or you're not good enough or you're not, listen, he loves you exactly where you are right now, right here, right now. He is for you. Mm -hmm. He loves you. Uh, your circumstances do not dictate who you are. Mm -hmm. Your circumstances are circumstances and circumstances come and go, mm -hmm. but you are the daughter of the most high King yes. and he loves you. And we're coming into Purim and you're going to learn mm -hmm. all about when you're reading the book of Esther, you're going to mm -hmm. learn all about the sacrifice of setting yourself apart to be that daughter. Mm -hmm. So we Pray and he is you. the one that completes yes. it. Exactly. He completes you, us. If you he, Philippians 1 6. Yes. Yes. Philippians mm -hmm. 1 6. Mm -hmm. You participate. You gather the olives. You yes. gather the olives. Yes. You do your part, whatever that is. Yes. Whatever that is. Insert here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do mm -hmm. your part mm -hmm. and allow him to, to uh, change you into you become the story you become the Mishkan, you become, mm. you become who he has yes. created you to be. Mm -hmm. And everyone's going to look different. And your smite, your spice is going to be different. Yeah. Your, your fragrance is going to be different. It's mm -hmm. all different and it's all good. So we love you. We appreciate you. Yes. Stick with us after ladies um, stick with us after, and we'll do a, a short, uh, a very short after party.